Hi, this is Eddie from Eddie's Pottery. Uh, I'm going to do a little uh, uh, an attempt to make us some uh, colored clay. And what I'm going to be doing is uh, I'm using two types of cobalt. I've got a spectrum, a spectrum uh, type of cobalt, and it is uh, 1513 dry cobalt. And then I also have some C202 cobalt. Now, the difference between the two is this is the spectrum right here. And it's a really nice mild blue. And then we're going to look at the C202 cobalt. That C202, uh, it normally the range on it is a 6 to 10 for what you would be using. I mean, I, you can use it a little bit less than that, but you don't get as deep as cobalt that you normally would. And then the spectrum, it runs between a cone range of four to a six. And so, uh, what I'm going to do is each one of these tubes of clay that I have out here, each one weighs right at seven pounds. We're going to use five percent. And the reason I'm using five percent, I mean, most. Uh, everything I've read on it, you can use any place from one to any place from one to uh, uh, let's say uh, uh, even up to ten percent if you want. But you know sometimes that's a, a waste of the chemical. But you know hey if if you got the money hey you can uh, use all you want. So uh, but each one of these weigh right at seven pounds. That's uh, roughly I think about about 112 ounces. So I've got about five, I think I've got 5.6 to 5.8 ounces in each one of these containers. I'll use each one full container for each one of these tubes. So, hey, all I'm going to do is sprinkle that rascal, mix them all up real good, and uh, I'm going to make some colored clay. And that Hey, uh, <laughs> sorry about that. The camera shut itself off. I don't know what happened. But um, I only made the C202 uh, cobalt in the seven pounds of clay. I still have the, the spectrum over here, the 5013 cobalt. Uh, I'm going to have to do it on a separate video because... Uh, Man, I'm gonna tell you what I'm. I'm gonna be doing some fast forwarding on on this here to show you what I was doing. But uh, I used I used uh, only 5.6 ounces of uh, cobalt of the C202 in this. And I'm gonna tell you what if it's not blue. Okay. Now this is a this is an added step of what I'm doing to this. Uh, colored clay. Now I'm still on. I haven't made the spectrum clay yet, but you know the because it's and you know, it's a much lighter blue. It's very uh, like sky blue. Very very pretty. Uh, other than the the really dark dark co deep cobalt deep blue. But uh, what I'm doing is now I take an ounce and a half of water. For every pound of clay, you remember I told you I had seven 
yeah, seven pounds of clay. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my little blender and I'm putting I put seven ounces of water in there and then I'm taking pieces of clay like so and putting it in there. Now by doing that I'm just trying to make a a, 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 a milkshake kind of thing until it gets so thick you can't do that no more. Now seven or one and a half ounces for every pound of clay then I add in another I've already added 5.6 uh, 5.6 ounces of, of the whatever I'm using and this is the C202 cobalt the reason I'm doing this because now if I used a mate what's called a mason stain a mason stain is already so uh, it's a synthetic and it's very very safe stuff to use and it's very very uh, it's actually easier to use than what I'm doing but I don't have any mason stain so but I'm still making the cobalt and so I'm gonna add the rest of my cobalt that I need to I need actually two more ounces to finish what I'm doing and I will get that put that on the scale over here and I will da, 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 da. all right now turn that on that zeroed I'm gonna get me two ounces put it dog on close and Oop, went over. There we go, two ounces. All right. I take my two ounces, and then I'm already made uh, my my liquid here. Plus a little, just a little bit of clay, kind of mud, whatever, and I put that in there like that, and I'm going to thicken that up with that cobalt, and I'm going to keep adding in more of the more of the the the, 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 uh, the clay. All right. Uh, I have <laughs> uh, all this I've been working on I wasn't sure the camera quit running on me the battery went dead hey I just I, I don't know how much I got on there I don't know how much I missed but hey well, I'm gonna uh, cameras moving on me right now so I don't know what's going on and there's nobody behind it so hey uh, I'm gonna continue on and try to get this done but after I quit talking here I'm gonna uh, I'll be speeding the camera up so that I can get this done. So, hey, bear with me, please. 
because I will as soon as I get done getting everything mixed I'm gonna take it over here and I'm gonna put it on uh, this piece of this plaster bat so it will dry it out a little bit so I can use it here before too long so and I get it put back in the bag and everything so hey we'll take all those little discs over there put them in the container and hey here we go I got a big glob of clay that's got a lot of dye running through it so hey I'm gonna pretty much stop this video and uh, I'm gonna put a little put a fan on it let it dry out just a little bit so that uh, I can then put it on this uh, uh, plaster bat that's behind me and uh, and then once it gets dried out I'll just roll it back up and put it back in the bag and it'll be done ready to use So, at this time, and <laughs> at this time until I use this clay, uh, hey, I'm I'm done with it. This this video has wore me out. So hey, uh, what I'm doing is uh, uh, I'm gonna call it uh, an evening, and uh, the next uh, the next uh, clay I'm gonna use, or not clay, but glaze I'm gonna use is the light blue. And it'd be the same thing. Either that, or unless I can get some mason clay here pretty quick. Uh, the mason clay, hey, it blends real easy. I can show you a couple other videos of other people that have used the mason clay. Because that's what they use. And, uh, I mean, they call it a lot of different things. You know, aggregate wear. Uh, you know, uh, colored clay. Uh, uh, you know, uh, but... You know, nylock pottery, uh, staff and shower pottery. You know, they all made that type of clay. And we're talking way back, uh, you know, 17, 1800s. Or if you want to go all the way back to uh, back to seven, uh, uh, seventh century. You know, uh, uh, when the Chinese was using it. I mean, back in the 1700s, uh, Japan was using it. But uh, I think. Uh, China's got everybody beat, but I don't know because I haven't seen anything that prior to that uh, on books. So, hey, and I read a lot of them. So, hey, uh, this is Eddie from Eddie's Pottery. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye for now. And um, be safe, and I'm sorry this video is taking so long. <laughs>